Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday News. Here's what we have in the bulletin. Opposition levels blame at authorities following shutdown of Crab City. St. Anne nurse dies in motor vehicle crash. And later in sports, Jamaica Scorpions head coach cautious about title defense. Thank you for joining us. I'm Shimela Pullen. Here are the details. The opposition is calling on the Integrity Commission to break its silence on the delay in certifying the Prime Minister's declarations. The issue was raised at a party meeting in Trelawney last night. O'Shane Masters reports. I don't fear a lawsuit because if you think I stand alone, look behind me. Afari Dennis Meadows at the Trelawney North Constituency Conference on Sunday night. He is blasting the government for its decision to reserve comments on the Integrity Commission's probe into six parliamentarians for illicit enrichment. He first took aim at Prime Minister Andrew Holness. This, as his declarations for 2021 has not been certified by the Commission. We have a head of government and a head of cabinet whose declaration from 2021 is yet to be certified by the Integrity Commission. No wonder, no wonder they were lucky though. He also criticized civil society groups for being too lenient on the Prime Minister and not holding him to account. If they respect the Jamaican people, and they want to be taken seriously, they must immediately ask of the Prime Minister, demand of the Prime Minister, what happened to your declaration? Why is that certified? He further noted that the Integrity Commission has a public duty to say why the head of government's declarations have not been certified despite the current gag clause in the Integrity Commission Act. I ask respectfully of the Prime Minister. You must come forward and tell us who those six persons are. And more importantly, I want the head of government of this country. I want the head of cabinet of this country. I want the Prime Minister of this country Tell us whether or not he is one of the six. The government has placed a gag order on itself on talking about matters related to the Integrity Commission. O'Shane Masters, TVJ News. Welcome back to the Midday News. We apologize for the technical glitch earlier. Continue the news. Opposition spokesman and local government Natalie Nita Garvey is leveling blame at the authorities following the shutdown of Crab City. The popular food spot was ordered closed amid public health concerns. She was speaking today on TVJ Smile Jamaica. Karen Simpson tells us more. Opposition spokesperson on local government Natalie Nita Garvey is pointing fingers at the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, KSAMC, for what she says is its poor monitoring of the popular roadside food spot along Heroes Circle in Kingston. Mrs. Nita Garvey says the KSAMC should be blamed for the breakdown of public health standards. The Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation would have had as its responsibility the um to put in the bathrooms, to put in um, adequate flowing potable water. Um, and so I'm surprised to hear the mayor speak to the fact that a 500 gallon tank is there. That 500 gallon tank is there to serve several vendors who are using water um, for the entire period of the day that they are there every day. She added that there was little to no monitoring of the space. Mrs. Nita Garvey says the current situation was a disaster waiting to happen due to the poor planning of the KSAMC's part during the construction of the food zone and the lack of the necessary follow-up inspections. Having gone there and made the announcements, did the upgrade, it looked good. I don't know why it is that they would not have thought 
of ensuring that there were going to be bathroom facilities so that vendors could properly relieve themselves in a dignified way. The truth is, when the mayor speaks to the fact that the people live close by and can go home, go use the toilet, um, really is an affront to, to, the, to, to, to the circumstances which exist. She believes that several factors must be considered before the reopening of Crab Circle. I would want to know that there is a there is a, a, a bathroom facility there that can um, facilitate vendors utilizing the space um, when they need to. I'd also like to know that there's running water there. It's we're in the city. We're not in some rural place where it's hard to get running water to them. And so the tank would have to be what is the substitute. There can be running water there. Kerry and Simpson, TVJ News. Meanwhile, public health experts are warning that poor food hygiene practices can lead to persons consuming the food to become severely ill. The details in this report. The crop circle saga has sparked renewed debate about the standards employed by street food vendors while the monitoring agencies are facing widespread criticism for their lack of oversight. Noting the significance of Jamaica's street food culture, public health specialist Dr. Orville Nemard advised that if the food being sold is not handled properly, then consumers can get sick. Bacteria, viruses and parasites can be spread through food. Amongst the bacteria which are involved, there are a number of them called the coliforms. These are the ones that live in the bowel, which is why personal hygiene becomes such a crucial issue. So we're talking about E. coli, Campylobacter, Brucellosis, Salmonella, Shigella, viruses such as Hepatitis A, and parasites such as worms, tapeworms, trichinosis. Dr. Nemard says in Jamaica, there have been many outbreaks of food poisoning over the years, but fortunately, none has been terribly extensive. Most have been managed within the confines of between public health um, and, and practitioners. Um, and, and this has not only been from street, street side vendors. These have also been from established institutions because the tenets of food safety go across the board, whether it is that it's a street side establishment or within a an establishment, you know, a recognized establishment. He says the public health department needs to strengthen its collaboration with food vendors to ensure they are licensed and proper sanitary conveniences are in place. Nowhere in there was it set up that the sanitary conveniences should be there. So there are a number of failings which took place along the way. And I don't think in as much as we're all uh, distressed at the pictures that, that, that went viral, the fact of the matter is that the blame for, if you want to put it that, or the responsibility for what has happened has to be spread across a number of persons and not just pinned on this one person. He emphasized that consumers should be cautious when buying food from the streets. In selecting where you, you buy, you really want to have a look around and see whether or not there are facilities that would give you some confidence that the food is being adequately prepared under the best conditions. And you really want to buy something that's hot and reasonably recently um, cooked. You don't want to buy stuff that's been sitting down all day or overnight. Something that's hot right there on the spot that's been cooked, recently cooked, the risk is lower. A nurse is dead following a two-vehicle crash on the Rio Bueno Road in Trelawney on Sunday. She has been identified as Avadon Allen of Discover Bay, St. Anne. According to reports, about 4 p.m., Miss Allen was driving her Toyota Corolla motor car when she lost control and collided with a refrigerated truck. She sustained multiple injuries. She was taken to hospital where she died while undergoing treatment. It's time for a break. Stay with us. More stories when we return. Welcome back to the Midday News. It's now time for the Business Minute. Regional Rating Agency Caribbean Information and Credit Services Limited, Caricris, has upgraded VM Investments' overall credit worthiness. The agency has assigned a CARI BBB rating for the company's regional scale local currency risk 
and JM B Plus for the Jamaica National Scale Foreign Currency. VM Investments National Scale Local Currency Risk was graded JMA. Kara Chris says VMIL's credit worthiness is adequate and it maintains a stable outlook for the company. It expects VMIL to remain profitable and adequately capitalized over the next 12 to 15 months. Further afield, major airlines around the world have cancelled flights to Israel or warned of travel disruption as the security situation deteriorates. Three U.S. carriers as well as Air France, Lufthansa and Emirates have suspended services to Tel Aviv. Virgin Atlantic warned of cancellations and delays from Heathrow and British Airways has altered its schedule. It comes as Palestinian militants Hamas said they had targeted Israel's Ben Gurion airport with missiles on Monday. And that's it for the Business Minute. I'm Shane Masters. Time now for the top regional and international stories. In the region, St. Kitts and Navis is at risk for a dengue outbreak. That's according to the Ministry of Health. The ministry said increased rainfall associated with the passage of Tropical Storm Philip has amplified areas where the Aedes aegypti mosquitoes can breed and spread diseases such as dengue, Zika and chikungunya. There has been an upsurge in dengue cases across Latin America. On the international scene, Israel's defense minister has ordered a complete siege of the Gaza Strip and the cutting off of food, fuel, electricity and water supplies. It comes two days after shock attacks in Israel by Hamas militants left hundreds of civilians dead. Israel says it has regained control of its communities near Gaza, but some militants remain active. More than 700 people have been killed in Israel since Saturday, including 260 people massacred by Hamas gunmen at a music festival. Festival. And rescuers are digging for survivors of a powerful earthquake that flattened several villages in Afghanistan, killing more than 1,000 people. The 6.1 magnitude earthquake happened over the weekend. According to the United Nations, villagers are still using shovels and bare hands to search for the more than 500 people who are still missing. Aid delayed by blocked routes and communication lines being down only started to trickle in on Monday. And those are the top regional and international stories. I'm Karian Simpson. Thank you, Karian. And Jordan Fort is here with your midday sports report. <music> 